folks! Hello! My name's Dan. I play video games on the internet. I'm going to play this video game right now, Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. If you are watching this on the YouTube, there is a full playthrough of the original Max Payne. That's already on there if you want to check that and catch up. Uh, but no, we will be playing this one, Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. Uh, these are both my first time through. The one on YouTube now is my first time, and what you're about to see is my first time with Max Payne 2. And speaking of the first time, Let's go to this previously on and get caught up for those who didn't see it the first time. I am Max Payne. My wife and daughter were murdered. It had something to do with the designer drugs. Spoilers for Max Payne. I transferred from the NYPD to the DEA, went undercover to find their killers. I got too close. I was framed for murder. With nothing to lose, I went after the Mafia during the worst winter storm of the century. My first stop was Vinny Gagnetti, a lowlife in the habit of taking his frustrations out on underage call girls. I left him bleeding in an alley after I'd gotten what I wanted out of him. I met Mona Sachs in a gothic nightclub, Ragnarok. She was a hired killer. We were after the same man, the cult her guy sister's with cool sadistic shirt. husband. I was drawn to her for all the wrong reasons. I made a deal with Vladimir Lem. The Russian was a smooth operator. He helped me get to the mob boss I was after, we but I was in over my head. The government was involved. A mystery man called Alfred Woden told me the name of my real enemy, Nicole Horn. Woden and Horn were both members of a secret society, the Inner Circle. She was behind V, behind everything. While working for the DA, my wife had accidentally seen papers that incriminated Horn. Woden promised to take care of the charges against me if I took Horn out. Deputy Chief Jim Brevora of the NYPD was trailing me by the empty shell casings that I left behind. Gunshots made me deaf to the sirens but they couldn't drown the sobs of my dead wife. Mona sided with me against Horn. She took a bullet for that. Her body disappeared behind closing elevator doors. I killed Horn. She crashed in the helicopter, Horn? I gave myself up to the police. I had enough evidence against Woden to know that he'd keep his promise. I lied to myself that it was over. I was still alive. My loved ones. We're still dead. It wasn't over. Okay. I don't know where the story goes here. My knowledge is family is still dead. All right. Uh, we pre-streamed with some settings changes to the controls. Hopefully that all works out well. And let's go to new game. Whoa. I miss the days of difficulty settings having fun, you know, uh, don't hurt me, you know, Wolfenstein, Doom, I am Death Incarnate type stuff. Like That's a fun way. Don't just say easy, normal, hard, or veteran, or rookie, or something like that. Do some fun bullshit with it. Make it part of your world, your lore. I'll be a detective, because it's the only thing I can be right now. The darkness inside. <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind This you. is how I talk. It's edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Good choice. Or kissing the mouth of a gun. No, thank you. A bullet trembling in its dark nest. Why would you do that? Your head off. Don't kiss guns. It's weird. And dangerous. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. Shock. Start two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my this eyes. This is after the helicopter fight. Slid in the first focus. One. 
That's a good picture. <laughs> she was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. A hungry pit? What are you talking about, run. Max? Get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of jail. You know, the great thing is, once I start Max Payne 3, I can just fucking straight up cosplay as Max Payne 3. If you know anything about me, it's that I love cosplaying. Max, the route's clear. Ooh. Oh, no detail this is good. This looks sharp. Wait a minute. This is just straight up widescreen. Uh, hang on. Can I just fucking... I did not expect that. Shit. I didn't expect that at all. All right. Well, let's put my head. That's crazy. Should I put it over here? Is that weird? Because I'll be looking over here. Is that distracting? Would you rather have it be here or here? I can make it smaller, too. Over here works. Okay. Let's just do this. Okay. Left. Right corner. Okay. I feel like people are saying the right works. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm going to do this. Weapon's going to come up on the right. How about right. Corner looks good. Smack in the middle. Oh, boy. It's everywhere. On the right is where... You know what? Here. With the gun and the ammo. I don't want to cover any HUD stuff, so let's just go here. Nothing's going to happen there, right? You good there? Let's do that. That'll be fine. Okay. Wait, somebody says left of health meter. Actually, that might not be bad. Hang on. We're getting there. Like I said, first time playing. Is that weird? Right there? Right next to his ass? Is that fine? Or I could be super tiny to the left of the health. I could be... There! Is that fine? It feels like very small. Is that good? There, you can see all that. Alright. Okay, that, that works. I'm tiny. I'll be tiny for this one. How about that? Okay. Got some sofa. I don't see the entire health bar. Yeah, okay. I think we're good. I think we're in a good spot. Open a lot of drawers for ammo and painkillers, and the TV stuff this time is way better. Okay, cool. Good to know. All right. Let's play Max Bay. This immediately looks better. Ooh, look at them physics. Hell yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. We got some fun physics going on here. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to have a good time here. I'm already into it. Yep, move these chairs. Fuck yes. Let's fuck up this hospital. Oh, yeah. Max, what's going on? Crab says, the first time I walked past a pile of boxes in this game, I gasped. I was yeah, man, physics were impressive back then. Anyone there? Wait, hang on. What were you thinking? Okay, those don't move. This isn't uh, Splinter Cell yet. Max? Max, answer me, Max. Look, the individual bottles fell over. Oh, yeah. What year is it? 2003? Oh, just give me all of this you got. Good God. Spot in my head. A bullet shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull. Function and scrape out unavailable. The pain. Bullet shaped hole is not a clever thing to say. Just like there was a bullet hole in my head. But you don't even have to say that. Just be like, ah, I felt weird. Smash Snake asking if I remember the ice cubes in Metal Gear Solid 2. 
I remember the Ice Cubes in Metal Gear Solid 2 more than I remember most entire games. Look at this good fucking video game. Look at this shit. Look at the fucking cans fly. Oh my god. This is... Oh. Oh, you are speaking my language. Fuck yes. How many? What's the max? How far are you willing to go? Remedy. That far. But you know, you could explain that by being like abusive. Do you use the cans of soda? Oh, cans of soda coming out of a game when you press a soda button in it? Uh, that's a 10 on the fuse. That's a 10. Okay. Oh, I'm in love with everything I'm seeing there. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, chair. Oh, man. I'm not a hard guy to please. Just give me some shit that moves around when I run into it, because that's what happens in real life. Oh, yeah. I have been playing recent games, and I will test things like, hmm, do those claws on the, the clothes, clothes on the clothesline move if I walk through it, and my character just stops against it, and I'm like, hmm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Instantly, I'll think less. It's like how people used to think game reviews worked, where it's like it starts at a 10, and it's like, mmm, the clothes didn't move, and that's negative 0.25. Oh, we got in-game ads, that's good stuff, fake ones. Interfectum? Kills screen. It's horse medicine, I think, right? Oh, that's for bullet holes. Okay. Uh, okay, got the painkillers. Oh, I remember those were on B before. I've got those on LB now. I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD. Found him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Are you kidding me? Are you... This is... Mmm. Oh, man. Put me in, coach. Fuck yes, this is great. They put that there. They wanted to show off those physics. She's one of them. She's here to kill me. Winterson. I can't believe I never fucking played these games. Look, I know I've gone over the history. If for some reason you're watching this one on YouTube and haven't seen the first one, watch the first one first. I go into why. It's not a long story, but I just never played these games. But fuck, am I glad I'm doing it now. The first one was really fun, but I'm already just real into everything this one's doing. Drawings. Can I zoom in? Wait. Oh, LT. Wait! So if I just hit LT, that does bullet time only by itself if I'm not moving. So why am I wasting B? I was I was altering the oh I can't alter it now. Wait, maybe I can do it here. So the controls. I got B on bullet time only. Why am I wasting that? What would be better for that? Ah, fuck it, it's fine. Guy crying. Is that that's Max crying? This is family died. He's got a gun. Oh, this is bad. Um, okay, can I? Dad, roses. Okay, so that's the family all together. Max Payne, his daughter, and his wife. There's the bad guys, and that's this just very graphic bleeding on the floor. Uh, and that's crying. Oh, test light says that. Were you seeing the whole screen? Probably not, because I did not anticipate this being... Look at that. There you go. Now you can see it all. Thank you. Oh, now i got to move my goddamn head again. God damn it. All right. Well, now what the hell do I do? I guess that'll do. That seems weird. That's so tiny. That's very small. Okay. We'll be okay. All right. 
I like those drawings. That's good. That's environmental storytelling. That's the kid say. Stay tuned to the dress unknown. Con Wait, where's the TV? Is there a show going on? We're watching. Is there any DMCA in this game? Baseball bad boy, right? Yawn. Wake me up when you're done trying to impress me. An army of freaking zombie demons from outer space. <laughs> and a whole lot of cartoon kung fu butt kicking. <laughs> the adventures of Captain Baseball Bad Boy. It's a legend. So he says, I remember playing one of the first Max Payne games on Xbox and getting an autosave right as I died of a Molotov cocktail. Goodbye, save file. That sucks. That blows. Damn. Does it have quick save like the last one? Meta says two saves. I do like a hundred saves. Faces look good. You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Go! Jesus. What a bullshit. A classic character, Jim Bravura. circles until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from and only the holes grown deeper or Tim Turry was extremely uh, unironically into just the just noir drenched drama of all this stuff like he loves the writing in this that's why when we did that video with Gilbert Gottfried and we were just like trying to get him to read all these different things from Video games. Tim made him read some lines from Max Payne. Mine was all just like, can we get Gilbert Godfrey to do the Liquid Snake monologue? I had tried to run from it. So my Edited wife out. was that Winterson horn. was dead. I was a murderer. It was Winterson? false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past was the point horn. of no was return. The, wrong. the fatal choice already made, and it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. 
It could destroy you, drive you mad. Up here. It could set you free. You, inside. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. That's everyone mad at me. see the choices you didn't know you'd made. Like staying at work late to chat with a friend. Instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her. I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. It's like a Gerard Butler kind of. Fan those extra units. Call the central. We need every available unit here now. I am afraid. But I start again from the beginning. Trace my own. So is this like right after the events of the first one, I assume? Oh, that load screen. See how fast that went? I'm guessing that was like 45 I seconds on the Xbox. Punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history. Oh, years later, okay. Unscathed, a hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I appreciate I you guys all explaining DEA. the plot of the game. I'm literally watching because I went back to where uh, my brain out. good at picking back up on to stuff. The job, the NYPD. Good thing I professionally wrote about games it's and take them for uh, 17 years. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while. Can you play with the Duke on PC? On sides in a civil war. Oh, could you connect the Duke to PC? I like when cars look like that in games. Just, that's all we need. Have you guys played Die Hard Trilogy? First level. First, first of the trilogy, too. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. Ford Taurus. My first car is Ford Taurus. The one I... Totaled? Yeah, I totaled a Ford Taurus. Uh -huh. Okay, so... Is there clambering? Can Max clamber? Oh, yeah, the fucking box is over. Oh, yeah. Clang. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, it kips up still. Hell, yeah. Play Dynamite Cop on stream sometime? Tap? I definitely have. I think uh, I probably played it uh, at like four in the morning, uh, but Dynamite Cop is evergreen. I like playing Dynamite Cop. I'm stay on the ground after a dive now. Okay, let me try it. Go. Do I just hold it in? Let me see. How do, you, do I have to be shooting or something? Culinary says, I accidentally drove my Ford Taurus down a dirt bike track out in the mountains late at night and fucked up the alignment. Culinary, you sound pretty fucking cool. I don't know the reasoning that you did that, but it's probably cool. Holds fire and you stay on the ground. Okay. I don't want to shoot yet. Can you move this? The pallets? Can I move? Oh, my God. I'm going to have to find a way to argue this for 2022 Fire Escape Game of the Year. There's got to be some technicality. Not this. All right. That's too big. That's ridiculous. Don't be silly. Oh, look at that. Look at this shit. Got a pistol whip. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pistol whip no this shit out of space. Push these. Oh, my I God. Get my eyes on the road. Off the rear view. Eat your heart out. Half-Life 2. I chase lesser mysteries. Yes. Other people's crimes. Fuck yes. Reload your gun when you're in bullet time only. Okay, I don't think I need to reload right now, but I will do that. Oh, this kicks ass. Can I push it? It's on wheels. Mm. Mm. It's still cool. It's still cool. Take it's not quite like that. That sounds fun. Oh, this is it's a bright piston. <laughs> Remind me, is this 03? The code has physics. Did he mistake TV sounds for humans? 03, okay. Oh, wait, no, don't turn it off.
fuck you yes. in the dark and violent night dick justice a lone hard-boiled fugitive cop framed for the murder of his wife on a quest for vengeance through the criminal underworld in the Sounds city familiar. of darkness the rain was coming down like all the angels in heaven. i like the writing in dick justice a lot more than max Payne. in a situation like mine you can only think in metaphors they had killed the love of my oh, life. This is good. They were going to pay. Hi. You've called Dangerous Liaison. Call 555 PSSY when you want to do more than just talk. Dangerous Liaison. Our more than talking? What's after you. talking? Okay, wait. I think I can reload now. Here we go. Um. Okay, wait. I think I can reload now. Here we go. Um. Oh. Oh, this is after my heart. Platforming. NYPD. Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just clean the you place. Just keep making games that look like this. It's Come fine. On, officer, it's it's better, legit. Maybe. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now. No, no. This oh, is a good wait. Era. <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? The gun workshop. Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer. <laughs> Perp's disguise didn't fool me. He was leading me into a trap. Didn't trust him. <laughs> didn't trust him. No thanks. All right. Why are you shooting at me. The perps were masquerading as cleaners. Thought he could hornswoggle me. Okay. Piston in the chat said that there's some jumping around bullshit you can do here. I can, I can fuck around and get some secrets. <laughs> Damn it! Well, I guess in real life that would hurt. I don't want to quick save because fine, I will, but I feel like I've taken too much damage already for this dumb shit. God, that quick save is so fast. Ooh. An Ingram. Okay. Some painkillers. Let's just go ahead and use those right now. Oh, does it take some time to go into effect now? Interesting. Twang, 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 twang. A lot of wide aisles in this. Big doors. Read all this? No. Still pretty detailed. Suspect. Ooh, nice. Use the forklift? Hang on, can I use the forklift? I don't expect full Shinmu here, but does it make a sound? Not 
appear to be interactive. I loved it when I started playing Diablo 3 on consoles and I realized you could roll through all those barrels. That was a good time. Bullet time's very good here. You move full speed and it slows more with every kill. You're pretty much the flash. Nice. Dual wield. So that's just pistol whip. Okay. Wait, so how do you select? How do I like pick it? Because A jumps. Okay, you just pull the trigger. Okay. Diablo 3 is way better with controller, yeah. Ragnarok. Weird sex devil club. Open because I used a forklift. I don't know how this works. I'm not a violent man by nature, but it pisses me off more than anything when they do that. It's an insult. That's what it is. We're trying to clean the place. They should have more sense than to bleed on the floor. That's the ticket. We should find a way to kill them without spilling any blood. You know, gas them or poison or something. There's no stealth. This all feels better. Jake, thank you so much. Oh, he got stealth. Fuck. All right, fuck it. I got to stream Max Payne 3 at some point. I'm just too into the whole Max Payne thing right now. Is there ever a time I've like beat a game and immediately went into the other one on this uh, channel? Guys, get Jackie Brown in there, taken care of. We're done. Okay, I'll round up the crew, make sure the cleanup's done. Bodies, blood, prints, air, mags, empty brass. When we're out of here, there won't be a shred of evidence for the cops to find. Just fuck. Yes. I don't think Mario counts. Mario go around? That, that was a different gimmick. The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. Here doesn't work. I want to get a giant neon sign that just says vodka. to shoot the gas tank in the stairwell. Well, why not? Paint can. That's a gas tank. Oh, yeah. Oh! Is this fucking Red Faction? What is this? Nice! Holy shit. The answering machine had a message on it. I should play Red Faction at some point. People don't talk about Red Faction as much as they should. What did that make me use? It's use. Why? Yeah. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beep. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Flood here to be a gun in your gentle Ah, uh, man can dream. It's all the gun kissing. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. If anything happens. 
very John Wick ass villains. John Wick kicks ass. I know I'm not saying anything. You People don't know. No new messages. Vodka. Vodka. Red Faction Gorilla was a top 10, 360 game, the multiplayer with the Dissolve Gunner. Red Faction Gorilla is amazing. Armageddon, they fucked up. Uh, but Gorilla was so good. I remember I was at Volition and I was doing the Saints Row 3 cover story for Game Informer. And I loved Red Faction Gorilla. And they hadn't announced it yet, but they were like, hey, do you want to see the next uh, Red Faction? I was like, yes, please. And they showed me a bunch of it. And I remember being like, Hey, is it all uh, is it all in these caves? Like, do you ever get to go out like on a surface and blow up some big silos and shit? And like, no, we're really focusing on the cave stuff. And I don't want to say anything right there because you know they're making the game and all. But I want to be like, I don't think I want to be in a cave the whole time. And it turns out, it wasn't very good being in a cave the whole time. Shitty safe. You had red faction on your engage. Wow, nice. Yeah, good eye, Dan. That's how I talk to myself when I do good things. What do we do? Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait. Guy looks like the Russian us. dude and or the Greek dude in the uh, Wire season two. Out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no her. one. What do you want? We we can. NYPD, drop them. Finish her. Oh, God. I'm glad you're like, Fuck. Like all the bad things in my life. It started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him! Don't let him get away! How long can it take? You're not supposed to cuddle with her afterwards. Oh yeah, I meant to use bullet time, but I think I used a painkiller. Still adjusting to the new controls we set. I gotta start off. Good video game. This is a good video game. Little blood spurts come out of his wiener when I hit it with a pistol. See the little blood spurts? It's good. It's good. It's a good video game. Fucking brained mid jump. That sucks. Trying to fucking shoulder roll out of there. Got fucking blasted. Bad news, dude. Oh, Fuck you, dude. Fucking... <laughs> That's fucking sweet. <laughs> Dying mid somersault. I wonder how many times that's happened in human history. Somebody getting shot in the middle of a somersault. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done a somersault. It's not really a reason that comes up anymore for me to do them. Uh, is that an auto shotgun? Oh, fuck, this game's cool. With those boxes. Come on, come on. 
Here's Lex again. Finally. Hey! Mona? Max. We gotta stop meeting like this. <laughs> Sorry, your mid-sentence when the giant steel door is shut? something to unlock this door? If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. Yes. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. I could use a little faster um, camera whip around. Where would that be? Surely they have. No? Nothing for a uh, frame speed? Oh, there's aim fast, of course. Oh, yeah. We kept it on R3. Yeah. You? Seems suspect. Looks like the freezer row just sit on the frozen hot dog boxes and eat Sour Patch Kids and drink Fruitopia during uh, rushes at AMC. Use the uh, R3 aim faster shit. Please. Oh. What did I shoot that? Physics death, I can't be mad about. First time I really noticed physics in a game. I mean, Half Life 2 is the obvious answer of just like the game that, like, you got a lot of high profile press for the physics. But this predates that. 
Halo. Halo had some decent physics. Psyops, death flips, yeah. Psyops, oh. I've talked a lot about my love of Psyops. How have I not? Are they in, Are these the guys I just shot? How are they in body bags? No, it can't be the same guys. Uh, I can't believe I don't own a copy of Psyops, and I can't believe I've not played it on stream. I should play Psyops on stream, because that game people don't talk about, and it's amazing. I, you know, I was about to say reminder to Psyops, but I think it's been on my list for like a year and a half. I need to own it. I want to own a copy. Get it. I think I have to it We tried to get that working for a replay on Gaming Camera. I think we wound up putting it up, but we had a lot of trouble getting the You alright? Hanson was the one putting it together, though. I don't know if that's his expertise, really. Okay, damn it. Hey, we're working together on this. Fingers! Or Tekken 3 being the first game I remember, like, you five individual game. fingers, you know? You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lays. Three groups. Oh, One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name. Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The senator. Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. Good load screen. I need to see talk to the second half. Get his version. Be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant. Vodka. Mona's appearance Good had triggered name. a dislocation. Schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Vodka, vodka. It's great whenever there's a knock on the door uh, in a movie or a dog on the screen and Gizmo and Razor freak the fuck out. By the way, we watched Paddington 2 last night and Gizmo had issues with Paddington when it was on screen. My case had a life of its own. the very future pain in the street. After I search parties this week, Paddington 2 is next. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. Musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster. If you're just joining on the YouTube, ever. you've missed nothing. Funny, I don't remember what was going on. I must have just gone to the bathroom two minutes ago. Uh, did I come in from here? Help! 
Stop it! Too many! Get him! Run! Oh, and he's down. All clear here. I'm in Vodka, Vlad's new restaurant built on the side of the old Ragnarok nightclub. Thank you. Check this shit out. Wait, how do I do this? No, you can't see it, but it was cool. Trust me. All right. Oh, that's... that's. I'd rather Johnny Sasaki than the weird, just kind of spread leg, just dry hump on a fucking pole. <laughs> That's pretty good. This guy, that's a dignified death there. Look at that guy. Let me try to help this guy out. Hang on. There we go. Now you can die with honor. Okay, there we go. Just straighten out this other leg. And there you go. There you go. It's just kind of... And here. You're ready for the coffin now. There we go. Okay. No one will know. You're welcome. Going up is up the plan. Ah! Oh, I want to pistol whip someone. Next guy I see is getting pistol whipped. He's coming! Vectroid, is this the Vectroid who did the new bomb gas thing? Arden, thank you for the sub. How do you like it now? Mike the Cowboy. Nice. Maybe Vectroid. All right, well. Cool to see, maybe. Hey, the fuck Mike's happened there? Fan. Oh, Perfect hey, what's up, show. guy from Max. fucking I'm Mike. Uh, Homeland? You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride. All right, who's this dude? This dude's cool. Is this guy seeing these fucking physics on these boxes? I guess in the game world, though, like in the kayfabe of the game, I guess he wouldn't be surprised by boxes moving around. It's like if, if you came up to me, someone in the chat came up to me and like threw a box or walked over a box and it moved, I wouldn't be like blown away, you know? Vector right there, they're bad. They're bad tens. Um, can we do this? Is this a. Uh, Cask of a Montalato situation. Sorry, you know, I love my intellectual references. Oh, they're what happened there. Let's watch the they video. asked for it. Just follow the trail. Very good show. Very funny. Baseball bat. Episode 165. Some people watching this? Captain Baseball Bat Boy's girlfriend. Yeah, she's not my girlfriend. Captain Baseball Bat Boy's arch nemesis. That's more like it. Bicycle Helmet Girl has been kidnapped by the villainous Maxwell's demon. Get hey, this game kicks ass. <laughs> Everything this game is doing is cool. To save her, Captain Baseball Bat Boy must battle through a horde of demons' minions. The freaking zombie demons from outer space. Bases loaded. <laughs> Fastball! Brother Christian, Ninja Baseball Batman is fucking sweet. One of the best fucking side-scrolling brawlers. Wild game. It's so good. It's the boss fights, the plane thing. Oh, man. Brother Christian, it's so good. I was I've thought about it every time this has come up, but I don't know if enough people know Ninja Baseball Batman. But can he find Maxwell's demon secret lair before the game is over? <laughs> find out in the next episode. It's like the Wild West Cowboys of Mesa. That's a good one. I should stream Ninja Baseball Batman from my arcade machine sometime. I've only done the one arcade stream. I could do it again. Don't make me. Oh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> Were you just watching me watch TV? <laughs> eh, whatever. Jesus Christ, apocalypse now. Got some heavy shit here. It's a great film. Perhaps the best film. 
Bonk's favorite film of all time. She'd never seen it. And watching Apocalypse Now with Bonk was one of my favorite movie experiences of all time. Of just knowing it was so up her alley. She just loves just fucking well directed, dark ass shit like Apocalypse Now and the music and everything. And she loves Brando and like, oh, she had never seen it. And I could just tell she was digging every second of that. And, and she, I think she now considers it her favorite film of all time. Which I might too. Uh, Goldman says, uh, do you like the extended cut or the original cut? If you're going to watch Apocalypse Now, if you haven't seen it, there's a bunch of different cuts. It's not a Blade Runner situation, okay? It's not a, you got to watch the final cut. It's the opposite of a Blade Runner. Watch the theatrical cut. The redux and the fucking uh, final cut thing. No, exactly, Killer Kid. The French plantation bullshit, that shit sucks. It ruins the entire fucking flow of the movie. I'm not going to spoil it, but there is some momentum. And in the theatrical version, they are they are just getting through some shit, and they're about to get into some other shit, and it fucking builds on each other so fucking well. But you listen to, you watch Redux, or you watch the final cut, and it's like, what if all the fucking tone was going in a very specific, awesome way, and then they stopped and were like, let's go hang out at a fancy French plantation and have a dinner scene where we talk and make love and for like 25 minutes. And it's just like, what the fuck are we doing here? We were like, we were on a roll with some shit. Watch the theatrical cut of Apocalypse Now. That movie kicks so much ass. This isn't a hot take because fucking Apocalypse Now, a million people fucking love it. It's a classic and everything. But holy shit, does it hold up? I hadn't seen it since high school. We watched it for Pain on the Stream, and we were both like, how the fuck is this movie this good? It might be the best movie I've ever seen in my entire life. Watch Apocalypse Now. All right. Fuck, it's cool. Brando is so weird in it, and but in the exact way you would want him to be, in the way it works for the character. Ooh. Clean. Logical oh, just the, should be on its way. giving him the mission Someone in the beginning. It's fucking Metal Gear at the beginning, Logic where it's just like, you gotta go up this river and dispatch this rogue general with extreme prejudice, and ooh, Christian. <laughs> Christian says, okay. Christian? Christian says, recover the Babe Ruth statue in Ninja Baseball, Batman. I've never done that. You d- did give a thousand bits. Christian, would you like a bean? Because I can bean. A thousand bits. You know, it's a letter of the law. I'm a man of my word. We'll get there. Up the stairs. Okay, Christian says no. All right. I'll always honor it if that is the intention behind the bits. Christian says consider the arcade stream. I will, Christian. I absolutely will. That's Max's back. Up here, in the the there. More of them. I still have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> is that an AK? That looks like an AK. I only know that because of video games. Douchebags! Reload. Oh, I have the shotgun. Shit. Who's, is my dude shooting? The 4K collection of Apocalypse Now has like six discs and it's like 18 on Amazon. Is that the 4K one? I don't want to spend more than that on it. Max, my friend. It was fun for a moment there. But my gun doesn't have unlimited ammo. If you can. Gotta get a bandana for that. What does Max Payne's face look like in this game? Same cocky look. Let me see if I can... Uh, you can't do the Tomb Raider trick. I don't know how to do it. Wait. Here we go. It's not Sam Lake. No. Great. Smart move, man. Max! Damn it! Vlad wouldn't be able to hold on much longer. I mean, Vlad is just literally Dracula, right? Vlad the Impaler. Yeah. 
Hey, speaking of Coppola, Bram Stoker's Dracula is a fun fucking watch. Look, just be there for the fucking Keanu bullshit. The bad accent, all that shit. Just be okay with it. It's it's fun. Dracula's real good. The book's fucking good, too. Ah, uh, yeah. Bram Stoker's Dracula is real fun. Yes, Zoidberg. Yes, Zoidberg. Hopkins, yeah, he's fun in it. Oh, did I get an AK? They don't tell you the names. What's the best vampire movie? I've not seen Interview with the Vampire. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, honestly, have I seen the conversation? Yeah, Psych Punk. We did an episode of Pain in the Stream. We went on a real... Uh, oh, Gary Oldman's incredible in that movie. Um, we did a real Coppola kick on Pain in the Stream about a year ago. We did Dracula, Godfather 3 Coda, Apocalypse Now, The Conversation. Um, yeah, we kind of like filled in our, our Coppola uh, backlog. We didn't see Lost Boys, no, or Outsiders, but we did we did a lot of them. And uh, it was fun. I mean, oh, Bonk was like, Bonk became like a Coppola devotee, devotee. Um, yeah. And I, like, Godfather 3 sucks ass, even the Coda one, but uh, I hadn't seen Godfather 1 and 2. Turns out, look, as a film major... From an accredited university, I can tell you uh, with confidence, The Godfather 1 and 2, good movies. And so is The Conversation. Gene Hackman's really good. I have a demon says, there was a scene in The Conversation that scared the shit out of me when I watched it. What, uh, what scene would that be? Huh. Oh, yeah, Psych Punk. That part's fucking... Yeah, okay. I know what scene you're talking about. I forgot about that. That one's fucked up. Where the fuck am I going? Am I going up or am I going down? Have I seen Jack? No. Uh, but I remember Jack came out when I was, like, obsessed with... Uh, I was, like, a 12 or 13-year-old. And, uh, you know, when I was in the gifted program, you got to do independent study and just pick whatever you wanted to pick. And so for the later high school years, it was all video production and wrestling. That's all I studied in high school, which is why I don't know anything else. Um, but in uh, a couple years prior to that, one of my hours I picked was for study of the box office and film industry and shit. And uh, so I was obsessed with, for some reason, Entertainment Weekly. I was so obsessed with Entertainment Weekly and reading the box office results every week. And uh, that doesn't really apply to the Jack conversation. But anyway, I was reading a lot of Entertainment Weekly is what I'm trying to say. Uh and I remember reading a lot about Jack and like how it's, oh, Coppola's legacy and everything. But I didn't know anything about Coppola because I don't think I'd seen any Coppola. And all I knew is he made the movie about Robin Williams being like a 40-year-old, 10-year-old or something. And I was like, I don't know. This guy seems like he sucks. Uh, but it turns out Godfather and shit's pretty good. If anyone needs to know the short reason why I'm kind of a giant idiot about a lot of things, it's because I was in the gifted program since elementary school and once you got to junior high where I went to school they let you just pick what you studied and all I ever picked was like the box office and professional wrestling and fucking uh, um, video production and so there's a reason I know a lot about a few things and Good jack choice. shit about normal school things that's why thank you sublimaced there we go. Now we're somewhere. Your gifted program sounds wild. Yeah. I was just spending fucking hours in high school every day reading fucking dirt sheets and shit. Like it was and going to indie shows and working as a ring announcer and getting ice packs for guys that, that got their. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it was a weird school experience. <laughs> it was really weird. But I got I, I was given a lot of time to dive fucking deep into whatever I wanted to. Here we go. What are you doing? Kill him! Kill the Russian! <laughs> this is yeah, pissing. Honestly, I'm I'm you game for it. Him, exactly, Zoidberg. Oh, all the old signage. Give up 
Yes. They're coming to take you away. Can you hear them? Christian, you get it. I like my NPC buddy. He seems to be doing a good job. Here, buddy, I'm just gonna go hang out in the neon closet. <laughs> so it's nice drink here. I feel like this is the same dirty work where I'm just holding fish. Oh yeah, my guys shoot people. Do they make a drum sound when I hit it? My dad read any of your books. Yeah. Yes. He uh he read the fuck, shit. He uh he read the anxiety one and called me and gave me a very earnest, heartfelt, like sorry for you know, not understanding what you're going through and sorry for not taking it seriously and stuff, but he was you know, he made your credit for that. These faces look so much better. You are not even trying. Uh Dave, the anxiety book is an audiobook. Hang on, Vlad. Max! I'm coming. Pain. Not him. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What are you waiting for? Circle around and kill him! Kill the cop! The way your hands are shaking, you couldn't hit a truck! Shut up! Shut up! These voices. I really love him. Uh, piss him off. I figure I should just use the painkillers now, because then if I accidentally like walk over one, I can still pick it up. Seems like eight is the max. Thank you, Crater. Crater, thanks again for sending that 2600. I just bought, I don't know if it's at the beginning of the stream, but I bought, bought a bunch of 2600 games, and uh, you sent an hey! excellent condition 2600, so that's the one I would play those on. Slayer said, how different do you think your life could have been if the pandemic started my another time you started with GI, say 26? You saved my life. Would have really hampered I could kiss you. the stuff I could have done on video and podcast. You still could have, but he got uh, girl, I feel like mastermind. I would have lost some of the he rapport in the he same room type the stuff, you know. But it hasn't hurt country. Fire Escape, so. The mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout son or detective, I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. What's the joke? Did you hurt your hand? I had a hot date home, yesterday. Sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened, an echo of the past, an old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. Yeah, is it a whack in it, Joe? I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. Noir York City. I would wake up at night. I said that, that all the time when I lived there. Might forget. I'd be like, hey, Bonk, it's like we're living in Noir York City. And she would just say, My I'm going to bed. John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. A <laughs> Rorschach? All fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. Go on. Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. Is this their version of the drug stuff in the first one? I 
I've descended into a mystery, desperate to catch him, to find my girlfriend, to save her. What? Who the fuck hangs clothes that high? Is Paul still taking a break from Breath of the Wild? Uh, <laughs> I can tell you, his literal last moments with his hands on a controller for Breath of the Wild. That's a good picture. Um, he No, I was in Kansas, and I was sitting there with Kayla. This was after the Rebel Loon one night, probably 3.30 in the morning, because we were waiting for Taco Bell or something. And um, he finally, finally, I'd been pushing him, because he'd only done shrines and stuff, and he kind of hit a uh, wall. And he got to the Zora's Domain thing where you're riding on the back of the the fish that the internet wants to fuck. And um, it the ice cube started flying at him. And me and Kayla were trying to explain, okay, Dad, so do this. You got to pull the bow out. And he got hit by like two ice cubes. And he just said, fuck this, and put the controller down. And uh, yeah, yeah, he's never touched it again. So... I love that we were able to get my dad to watch Cats for $50. Fuck yeah! I love that we were able to get my dad to watch Cats for $50. Fuck yeah! Hmm. Yeah. No, oh, that's good. That's good. I forgot what the fuck I was saying. What the fuck did I even say? Emulated Breath of the Wild is so smooth. Ooh, time awful. I'm very curious. It's like Silent Hill where you can't open any fucking... Uh, oh, talking about cats, my dad. Yeah. First of all, I just find it endlessly hilarious that when I message him being like... Because I knew I could do like a bit goal thing to get my dad to watch cats. And I was like, all right, I wonder what the number is. What does my dad need to watch cats? I said, Dad, how much would it take to get you to watch Cats and live tweet it? And I was just, I didn't even consider the idea of a gift certificate or anything. I was just like, how much money would it take? And he just said, $50 Chipotle gift card. He could have just said cash that you can spend on anything. But for some, I think just his coupon brain was like, oh, I need to feel like I'm getting a deal at Chipotle. <laughs> so... So we, I sent him a fifty dollars gift card to Chipotle, and he texts me every time, like, "Well, oh, just got a free burrito. Oh, it was incredible. I asked for the free, I asked for the guac, and didn't pay a second past it." <laughs> All right, could have just, I could have just Venmoed you. It wouldn't have, it would have given us felony virus or something. So, so basically, the the takeaway is, uh, if we want my dad to, if we want to force my dad to do something hilarious that. He would never, ever in a million years want to do. Let's just get him Chipotle gift cards, <laughs> and we can just do, we'll do big goals. I'll send him a g fucking gift card, and we'll just make him watch whatever bullshit and write a book report for it. It's good stuff. I assume Paul does not do e-gift cards, physical only. You know, I think I actually did the email thing. I think I bought it on Amazon, and it was like a delivery to the email thing. So I think he pulled that off. Is my wife talking? What's going on here? Yeah. Is Paul's taste in movies, current jazz, 80s, 90s action films? No. He, do he doesn't have the attention fan for movies. He does not like movies. Um, he will occasionally watch movies, um, but it has to be, like an average movie will take him like five sittings uh, because he just gets bored and walks away or falls asleep. Um, he got a coupon recently for on his direct TV or something where he got like a free rental up to three ninety nine, and he was asking me a bunch like I got a free rental I have to use it it's a free thing I have to use it so uh, but he doesn't like movies so like I didn't have any good suggestions for it. like he scrolled through stuff for a long time I was like you'd hate that you'd hate that you'd hate that and he uh, wound he landed on Cry Macho 
a Clint Eastwood movie, which I don't know anything about. I have no idea what it's about. And he said he fuck. He said he watched like ten minutes of it and hated it and turned it off. What's going on here? Max, sorry I woke you. What's the deal? Are you dead? It's a secret. You must tell no one. You better answer that. This game's cool. I know I'm just talking and rambling a lot, but it don't. It's, I'm understanding how fucking cool this is. Jake's with a Jack and Coke in 2003. You don't need a lawyer. Just tell cop was at the door when I walked out in Lawrence. Done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? I gotta take People it. People knew you, they'd die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Don't push your luck. Sit down. We're just getting started. Hey, sit down now. Don't get any bright ideas. Put it, put it Drop your weapon. Oh. Oh. My hero. Did I do good? When you're waking up, the world is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy, magic way out. But you are awake. I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. Benny now, says I, Mona I, died I in the last game for the record. Did she? So is this a dead lady? The real thing is she was on a you think dead be. cart earlier. That's right, Piston. Sniper! They found me. <laughs> That's a great line. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona. So she is she actually dead? Up. She had come and gone, and now I was being shot at. I had to catch her. Find out. Am oh, I supposed to know uh, if she's dead? Hey! It's ambiguous. Okay. She's alive. All right. You shouldn't. You move the clothes. They were. I shouldn't be that high. Go on, so. Go away. Something was barring the door from the other side. Fine. Is that okay? <laughs> she would have given me painkillers? Wait, does she have that?
Are you okay? Where were her painkillers? Oh, thank you. What a nice lady. cabinet. Hey, wake up. That's okay. I got eight. Thank you, ma'am. I've called the police. They're coming to take you away. Who's talking to me? Let me in. They jammed the elevator. What's happening? You guys okay? weird clothes room. What are we doing here? Platforming. There we go. Up there on the left. Up there. Up there on the ledge. He's up there. Get a water jetpack at some point. Which one does he get Yoshi? It's funny that they don't explain it. Different tones. Lords and ladies. My lady, wait. My lord. My lady, this is a surprise finding you here. Were you looking for me by chance? My lord, I, I was... Oh, this is so difficult. My lady? My lord, I came to see you, but now that I'm here, I can see that this was a dreadful mistake. My lady, no. Surely I... My lord, I should go. Should anyone see us together, your reputation would be ruined. <laughs> My lady, stay. A lot of unnecessary lord, umbrellas please, in the old days. Me. My lady. Still seems like it sucks. After the break, an all new episode of Lords and Ladies. touch brandy to make you feel rich and famous hi have we met before is this seat taken <laughs> gold touch brandy a taste of gold americans avenger nine mil <laughs> no no put it back on here spying on me there 
listening to Spy and, and all of us uh, only hear it. The TV's not on. Uh, <laughs> the signal. It's kind of a problem. Fools and <laughs> yeah, that's my iPod. No, my lady. <laughs> Turn it back on. Well, I'm gonna have a problem with that. Ooh! I thought I switched to grenade. Man says level 36 and nobody saves the world. This game is amazing. What was your favorite form? That magician was fun. Slug was fun. Ghost was fun. A lot of good ones. But you can kind of make any of them super dragon. Awesome. I'm going to pause real quick. Go to the bathroom. Did he have anything for me? Just before I came in? I did this. Kaufman wants us taken care of. There he is! We've been waiting for this. Damn. Damn. Fuck yes! young man coming to see an old lady like me just passing through ma'am such a nice boy not like the ones upstairs they say they're renovating but it's too quiet they're up to no good the doctor gave me pills for my hip but it's all better now you should take them you look a bit pinched dear they're in the bathroom with all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I've heard them talking in the corridor. Peeping toms. Oh, I remember sunlit days in the countryside with my Ben. Or was that something I saw on TV? <laughs> oh, she's ready to go. Oh. <laughs> Hit her in the face. <laughs> uh. Hey, where's the pills? She said it was a B. Like, legally, I'm in the clear. I could use some painkillers, though. It's really rude of her to say that and not make good on it. I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They had been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. The conversation. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Home is where your heart is. 
simple. Not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance to disarm the bomb. Once upon a time, it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now, nothing was left of it. <laughs> I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job. This game is fucking cool. no good anytime you walk into a room and your instant thought is uh oh this is like in that movie seven uh it's, it's not good it's not it's pain oh, shit <laughs> okay let's be better about this now It's not the same thing. It's take over. Could have been smoother, but look, we'll get there. Fire in the hole. Take cover. <laughs> Shoot. Fuck yeah. Driving the van says, Dark rooms always remind me of the scene in Ghostbusters 2 where the pictures, the main bad guy, all catch fire. Pretty scary as a kid. Yes. I feel like this is a very common thing oh with, with folks that grew up uh, like watching Ghostbusters 2. But yeah, Vigo, that painting, that's like... I feel like the phrase nightmare fuel is overused, but... Um, I actually don't know if it's a on those cans. Those who know the game, give me a rough percent that you think I'm I'm at in the game. Mars attacks, fuck yeah. Oh, I loved Mars attacks. Halfway through the first act of three, I feel like we haven't been wasting any time. I feel like we should be further. I've been streaming for five hours. I could be wrong based on the timeline that you see on the YouTube.
Okay, big ambush. This is the end. I wasn't gonna get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular. I have a demon says. Mars attacks give you an existential crisis when you were seven or eight? What part? It's been a long time since I've seen Mars attacks, but I fucking loved it back then. It was wild. Is that on Prime Video? Wasn't there some funny thing with Nicholson where there's something he had in his contract and they got around it by giving him two characters? It is True Blue? Oh, man. Oh, it's not. Okay. It's not. Damn, that movie's so good. I haven't seen it in forever. I have no idea how it's aged. But, oh, man, it was just so chaotic and fun. All of it, those goddamn aliens were terrifying. The goddamn weapons that turned him into skeletons. The burning cows didn't even know it was supposed to be a comedy. <laughs> That's, I love that. Thanks, fellas. You saved me. They barred the door from the outside. These are terrible times. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Very young Jack Black's in Mars Attacks. Okay. Yeah, he's in the Jackal, too. With the pigeons. You need the codes to seven floor. Ed knows. You know Ed, the janitor. Oh, Ed. These crazy cleaners have invaded his turf. I wonder if the jackal holds up. Been a long time since I saw a jackal. What's going on here? It does not. Hand bone. I feel like Bruce Willis. I feel like current Bruce Willis. Anytime I hear him being in a new movie, it's like, ugh. That's what Bruce Willis is doing now. So there's a period where he was like, you know, in the same breath as like the Stallones and Schwarzeneggers of the world. And now it's just like, not that like Schwarzeneggers, you know, doing awesome stuff, post governor stuff. But uh, I feel like Bruce has fallen a bit, right? Is Looper the last great movie he made? I can't think of one beyond that. I like Looper. Bruce Willis is the new Robert De Niro, just taking whatever work comes his way. Honestly, can't fault for that. I mean, mm -hmm, if, it's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD, I need the code to the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh yeah. Six six seven, the <laughs> neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah, I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. In our headlights. Stay frosty. I feel like that's the first stay frosty I can think of. I mean, you know, come like Modern Warfare Two that was in every fucking FPS military shit you've ever played. But I don't remember hearing stay frosty before like Modern Warfare Two. Aliens? Oh. I'm not as adept in aliens as I feel like I should be. I like it. I just, I feel like it's held in a reverence with, like, alongside the, like, T2s and stuff of the world that, uh, I like it, but I don't hold it in that high of a regard. So Wendy's ever used to stay frosty in an advertisement. They probably should. 
That's a co-marketing thing. Aliens is really good. But when I think of the Alien series, I remember thinking, like, Alien is terrifying and kind of awesome. Aliens is a good action movie. Alien 3 is, like, bold and weird venture stuff. I remember as a teenager liking Resurrection, but I'm sure it's terrible now. Um, I remember thinking Prometheus was fine, um, but never thinking about it for a second once I was done seeing it. And uh, never saw Covenant. Alien vs. Predator. Really the, okay. Chocobo says, Resurrection is good. You shut your mouth. I'm telling you right now. I, I remember liking Resurrection a lot as a kid. There's that weird new... That's not, the, that's not the important part. The important part is, if you haven't seen it, look up on YouTube the video. Just search uh, Alien Resurrection Basketball Sigourney Weaver. Look it up. And it's... Oh, it's so fucking cool seeing uh, uh, Ron Perlman sell it. And holy shit, it's so, Sigourney Weaver, I have always thought, is so fucking cool. And that clip in particular is just like, that's amazing. That is so fucking cool. Look up Sigourney Weaver Basketball Alien Resurrection on YouTube. Man, Sigourney Weaver is the fucking best. Love her. Brad Dorif. Alien Resurrection. Uh, it's the Doctor in Deadwood. Voice of Chucky. I like Brad Dorif. Great uh, character actor. See a TR bucket. I think basketball scenes in movies, the first thought goes to the scene in Catwoman. That's a bad one. Fuck, Catwoman's bad. We watched it for Pain in the Stream, and it was very bad. We knew it was going to be bad, but good Christ. Mm. Spiffy says, I never watched Face Off. I, I missed the watch along. Uh, anyone who happened to watch Face Off with the community or elsewhere, please inform Spiffy of Face Off. Oh, Escape from New York basketball, that's good too. Yeah. What is it, Escape from L.A.? No, it's Escape from L.A. is the basketball scene. L.A. had surfing as well. Evademon says I never went I went from never seeing face off to watching it three times in the span of six months. Yep. Yep. Oh, Piston. Absolutely not. Uh, for the record, Piston says, You have no idea where you're going, do you? And the answer is no, I don't. I'm just walking up the doors. Back to the elevator. Okay. Fuck is an elevator. Seventh floor? Oh, that's an elevator. Watch parties are awesome. I just I I feel like the last several months I haven't gone as late as I usually do. Although last Friday was it last Friday that we went pretty damn late? Um I am excited about doing a big goal for uh, Smashy Pet on next Friday. Last Friday was something, yeah. I've got some ideas for what I want to buy. Here's the thing. Curious what folks think. I've always heard the legend of the Steel Battalion controller and the game. It's one of the most ludicrously over-the-top accessories and peripherals in, uh, in video game history and but I never really played the game it is a uh, it's not cheap 
but I could do it's, it's within like bit goal reason. I mean, it could be one that could go over a week or two. But I do like the idea of using these things for streams. Would Steel Battalion be a good like if I got the fucking controller and did the whole thing? Like I don't know if you guys know about this, but the Steel Battalion, not the fucking Connect one, the Xbox original one. Um, would that, would that be worth it, or would that just be this giant waste of space and money? The Drew Scanlon game, I would hate it. That's that's been kind of my thought. I've thought that like we do like bit goal type stuff for uh, the watch party. It would make a lot more sense to do like you know I could get a Dreamcast fishing controller or a Super Scope or a Minister or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's super complicated. I would hate it. That's the thing. Like I wouldn't want to raise like four hundred bucks on a bit goal and just like not be able to do anything with it really or just hate it. You know. I think fishing controller fishing controller is a priority for me. The typing of the dead stuff is a priority for me. Um, I'm just trying to think of like ridiculous peripherals. I kind of want to get a Rob. Uh, I never had a Rob for NES. I've never even seen one, I don't think. So uh, I've thought about Rob. Uh, what else? Is Ooh, pizza. Activator. <laughs> yeah, syncopated. And one of the activators is bad. It's a bit of these um. Yeah, Rob typing the dead. Uh, a Namco GunCon two and Point Blank is way up there. I was looking for that at that Joe Gamer store. They did not have it. I was thinking Point Blank would be fun. Although we saw with Confidential Mission, the problem is the flashing. So, you know, that uh, that surprised me. So. Do you have the cable that goes from the GameCube to the Game Boy Advance? The Link cable? No, I don't. I don't even have a Game Boy Advance. Well, I have the SP. I don't have the original Game Boy Advance. Get a Konami laser scope? What is that? I feel like I'm unfamiliar with that. I'm just I'm trying to get my like short list together of things. So like whenever I do bit goals or things like that, that I can like kind of put stream money towards it, you know what I mean? Oh, Syncopated J has the fucking original box for point blank. Holy shit. Uh, no, Bessie, I don't have that Dragon Quest slime controller, but we had one at Game Informer. I remember thinking that was ridiculous. It was such a unnatural controller to hold. That blue slime. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, God. Old Socks and Shoes says, I had a Rob and a Power Glove and my mom sold them. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am thinking about streaming Sonic Adventure 2 with the GameCube chainsaw controller, which I'm going to regret immediately. I've never played Sonic Adventure 2, certainly not with the fucking chainsaw controller. It's a bad idea that I shouldn't do, so I'll probably do it. Have you seen this shit? Do you know how much I love being able to walk off screen for two seconds and just fucking pull up the GameCube chainsaw controller? It's really good. This is a good room. This is bad. This wouldn't be good to play game any GameCube game with. It's... I want, want is a strong word, but I'm planning on playing Sonic Adventure 2 for the first time. I've never touched Sonic Adventure 2 with this. Again, reminder, L, R, and Z. So L, R, and then I have to hit up here for Z. It's very bad. This isn't a good thing that they made, but I love it dearly. I love this controller 
so much. I just, I would, I would uh, admire it from afar when I worked at Game Informer and we had it in the vault. But now that I can hold it and I can play a game with this, I feel like I have to play, for some reason, Sonic Adventure 2 on GameCube with the chainsaw controller. Use it on Sunshine? Oh god. This is so stupid. It's very dumb. Alright, let's figure out how to put it back on the box. That's a whole process. And eh, that actually went alright. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. I really like having this dumb bullshit. It's really good. What's the dumbest controller, Popple Tree? Uh, that's fucking up there. Man. Danny, you could get a Game Boy Player and Mario were twisted. Whoa, 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 wait, hang on. What does this say? Dan, you could get a Game Boy Player and Warrior were twisted and you'd have to twist the GameCube. The GameCube itself would be the controller. I guess it would still register as like the motion sensor in WarioWare. I have WarioWare Twisted. And I have a GameCube. I don't have a Game Boy player. Bestie says, Dan, did they ever grab a Dreamcast keyboard for typing the dead? One of the best Dreamcast experiences. I had it back in the day. I don't have one now. I need to get the keyboard. So that's, that's again, that's way up there on my list of like, you know, when I do like a bit goal or something, or if I have a big night with gift subs and shit like that, like I'm putting that towards that stuff. That's uh, ooh, twisting a GameCube sounds fun. I am still looking like I want to get, I've, I've got the black GameCube that I've done some surgery on. Um, I am looking to get um, the purple one, the platinum one, perhaps a spice orange, uh, and then keeping it uh, as is. Um, but the surgery has been excellent. One-handed PSX controller win. I think I saw some of those that Joe Gamer plays. Okay, what are we doing here? The Katana controller was, what, Onimusha 3? The one with John Renault? Look up the Onimusha 3 Katana controller if you like dumb controllers. How much does that go for on eBay? Should be. The explosion yeah, so. in my apartment and started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. He looks so different here. The res trans vibrator. I, uh, when they were doing the res thing with VR, at some packs or something, they fucking put me in a whole suit and that all vibrated. It was like a VR thing, but I wore a whole vibrating suit, and it was a weird thing for sure. Unknown, get some sleep. Happy birthday, unknown. Oh, Bestie Hammer says, I'll never forget seeing the Sega controller slash keyboard for Fantasy Star Online for GameCube at E3 one year. That was a really weird controller. You don't say. Controller's 800, fuck. What's so funny?
Mona had come through here. The dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. Somebody get somebody. Call <coughs> Fuck is going on here? Bless you. I What's happening here? I need to get out of here. That seems highly dangerous. The gas from the broken pipe was feeding the flames. I couldn't get through. I played the Mario DDR game for GameCube. No, I've seen some clips. And then Waluigi's like the boss. I'm interested. I would play a Mario DDR game. Man, it'd be hard to stream. It's probably super DMCA'd. So just keep going down. Coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor if you can kill the flames. A girl's gotta protect herself. Okay. I'm Violet. Okay. Third floor, huh? More of them. Bastards. How much Damn. Stop. Oh. How much is Mario DDO? Just a pad over here. I'm trying to build up that game oh. too. I've not played uh TV Robo. It's been on my list for a bit. I'm surprised so many people haven't heard of that Mario DDR. Yeah, there's there's a full-on Mario DDR that came out for GameCube. Its own pad, I want to say. Its own story mode where Waluigi's the bad guy. Yeah. What floor is this? Three? Okay. You got a solution for this? See you, Gaiera. What are we doing about this? Are we going up? That thing's probably hot. Let's go up. Oh, there's a fire in the basement? I don't have the tools for that. Fire and heat rise. Fire just kind of goes everywhere. It's the, the smoke rises. And that's what gets you. No, wait. Numerous fire extinguishers in this house. I take safety seriously. I've read the instructions. I know how to pull the pins. I know how to do all that business. Got the alarms all set. Can I change the game language to Spanish? That's a great question. Can we do Spanish Max Payne? 
करते हैं The gas valve was in the utility room. See these physics? Look at this shit. What do you think of that? Huh? You ever seen a box move when you walk into it? It's 2003. Look at what Remedy Entertainment has done. Top one's falling off. Look at that. Hmm. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. <laughs> Quite the Resident Evil puzzle there. <laughs> Just hit Y on it. I'll take care of this. You stay put. Okay. I'll I'm gonna wait have to here. mix a bunch of bullshit. Read a note. Chicory. Hey guys. Why would he dive? Seems ill advised. She's still. What happened to her? Hang on. Oh, I told her to wait. Oh, I did. Wait there. the shotguns. I typically don't like shotguns in video games. God damn it, I'm going to hit A every time just like that thing. I have to pull the trigger. Wait, no, I want... Give me these. <clears throat> what the hell is that? Oh, it's there. That's the pipe. I want to start using shotguns because Bonk and I got that fucking shotgun skin today for or weekly in Halo Infinite. So we got to fucking use that shit. Oh, God. Fire's no good. It's cool looking, but you don't want it to be like part of your, you know, you don't want to deal with it. Doom shotguns way up there for us all timers. Wolfenstein, the newer Wolfensteins were fucking sweet. Wolfenstein, the newer ones had real satisfying melee combat. If I remember right. It's been a while. There he is! You heard what Kaufman said. Wipe him out. Fear, yeah, fear is a good shotgun. Did I buy fear recently on the fucking backwards compatible sale? Oh gosh. Shotgun's not the gun for this. No. 
Missing Paddington too. Fear three. Sam, hell am I doing here? They're all dead. Idle songs. Thank you very much, Idle songs. Oh, gameplay! Hey. Hi. What are we doing? <laughs> we can make that jump. What are you doing? It'd be so cool if you could! <laughs> Maybe I can't. Can I just do this? No, you can't do that. What am I supposed to do? Look, I'm not great at puzzles. I'm actually pretty good at puzzles. Can I... Could I go down? No. What are we... Don't worry, YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, you haven't missed anything. I guess going up is good. Oh, I should play Mario DDR right now if I had the fucking pad here already. Oh, 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 this seems good. Smart. Cool. They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. Innocent people got killed. You didn't do your job, Payne. To protect and serve isn't just bullshit hype. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me, about Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Gognitti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners, I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gognitti's list. 
Cheeseburger? I came close to lying. Is that a before. donut? That's a cheeseburger. I told myself I needed to find out the facts. I can't imagine back in the days when guys just wore suits evidence. every fucking day. That was an excuse. It'd be such a pain in the ass. Like if, when I had to put on Mona jeans, I'm like pissed. Skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and Imagine having to figure out how to tie a tie every day. Winterson. They didn't even have YouTube in like the fucking address. Mad Men days. Sure also, Mad Men sucks as a show. Max, Everyone what's going on? Freaks out about Mad Men. It's not that Don't good. do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed down funhouse based on a 90s oh. TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss oh, of Oh, I'm going to love this. A set of an old action show. But I am going to... Oh, shit. That's a good... That's a good stopping point because, holy shit, I was literally on the painting of the stream that's going up this weekend talking to Bonk about how much I love it because we're talking about Search Party Season 5. No spoilers, but like, I love that a like, kind of fun house type thing is involved uh, as a setting at one point. But I fucking love that shit. Uh, that's a great place to start the next time. So, let's do that, because this game kicks ass. But hey, YouTube, hope you enjoyed watching this um, straightforward stream of Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne, made by Remedy Entertainment in 2003. Nothing else is going to happen. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Bye! Okay, fuck. All right. I got to eat a gross... Bean. <laughs>